Hello beauties, welcome back to my channel. If you haven't already, please do subscribe, join the family. But today, we're about to get red carpet ready. I'm going to the Brits today and I'm so, so excited. I'm going with Amazon Music, which is flipping awesome. Um, and yesterday I was like practicing a few different makeup looks and I know exactly what I'm doing for you guys today. And it's really cool. Something I've never done before and I hope that you love it. <laughs> I'm also really excited to show you guys my outfit. It's extra, but. What can you expect? <laughs> so stay tuned to the end of the video because I'll be giving you a little preview of that before I leave for the big day. So I thought I'd do my hair first because that was gonna take me forever to figure out what I wanted to do. And I've done this really cute little like flick thing that all the celebrities seem to be doing. So, you know, Ariana Grande, Kylie Jenner, Bella Hadid, everyone and their mum's been doing it. So I thought, you know what, I'll take a bit of inspiration and then we're gonna switch up the makeup. So let's get straight into this look. I'm gonna use some new products. I've also got the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette. Obviously he's one of my good friends. And let me show you how gorgeous. This palette is, it's insane, it's from beautybay.com. I, I would say this is like my favorite, favorite palette at the moment. He's absolutely smashed it with that. So we'll be experimenting with that and a few new products such as this, which is the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. This is so beautiful. I tested it yesterday and I just need to show you beauts how gorgeous it is. It's got fluff on my beauty blender. So of course I've got a dampened beauty blender. Well, I think it's a Morphe sponge or something. And yesterday I laminated my brows. Obviously my YouTube family, you would have seen my brow lamination video and um, it went well, but yesterday it did not go well and I basically dyed my eyebrows black. Yay! <laughs> it looks better when I've got foundation on, so let's get cracking because I haven't actually got crazy long until my car picks me up. I'm using this foundation in shade 3N.15 Latte. <laughs> By the way, for my base underneath, I've literally got a little bit of Sunday Riley UFO oil on to banish any blemishes and to give my skin like a nice glow underneath. How gorgeous is this foundation though? It's like basically skin and it's matte as well. And long wear, <laughs> everything we want. I have been so excited to film this because, I mean, you guys know I am a singer and I'm excited because my single is coming out. In fact, I'm actually performing my new song at VidCon this weekend. So let me know if any of you guys are gonna be there. It's finally happening. So to be going to the Brits and to have my music like on the brink of release, it's just a really exciting time because it's been too long now saying it's coming. I'm releasing, blah, blah, blah. I can't make you wait like that, never again. I, I'm just like, I'm sorry, forgive me. Put it this way, we're on a roll and it's coming very soon. Now onto contouring. So you guys know this is like my favorite contour stick ever. It's the Clinique Curvy Contour Chubby Stick in um, 01, yeah, 01 Curvy Contour. And I have got a few contour sticks I'm excited to show you and test out with you guys because obviously I need to be testing new products in case like, you know, this is too expensive for some people or you can't get a hold of it. And you know, I wanna see what's good and new out there, but it's a special day and I can't be using something that might not be the best. Do you get me? So I'm gonna go with a trusty contour stick for this. So I have laminated my brows, but I've been trying to do like my brows a bit differently because you know that fox eye lift that everyone is obsessed with at the moment where it looks like you've had just basically a facelift. I've kind of tried to angle my brows up a bit more so it looks like they're pulled back instead of doing them to be really arched. So we're gonna see how that works out. I mean, the brow lamination definitely helps, although they're just so dark now, so I'm not sure exactly how much I can change once once we get to them. They just look so dark when I'm not wearing any makeup, do you know what I mean? Okay, so no surprise, I've baked with my Laura Mercier translucent powder because again, I know that this is gonna give my skin the best chance at my makeup lasting. And then I'm just gonna dust that kind of into the places that I've not necessarily baked. I'm gonna keep it a little bit under my eyes. When I do my eyeshadow, it catches any of the 
fallout and whatnot. Now I'm going to move on to bronzer and I'm using Too Faced Dark Chocolate. Um, love this one. So nice, buttery, warm and flawless. This thing that I've been doing with bronzer, by the way, or contour powder is like, see these little bits here? Pouting, then just getting a little bit of the darker shade. Right there. Just kind of cinches in your cheeks, doesn't it? Makes them look extra chiseled, which we all want. And I know that because <laughs> my contouring video is literally my most viral video I've ever done. So right now, sorry, I'm using the Illamasqua um, powder blusher in the shade Hussy. It's just like a nice little rosy pink shade. We're going for like lilac and pink hues. Okay, so I'm gonna move on to highlight before the eyes just because I wanna really get in there with my brows and I'm gonna use the shade Muffin from um, Mitchell's palette. It's kind of like an iridescent pink highlight. I love it, it's got flecks of like pink and white and gold. Can you kind of see it? It's quite subtle. Yeah, so you see what I mean? I'm just gonna like rub it into my brows <laughs> just so it gets onto that brow bone down the bridge of my nose and I'm gonna go ahead put this in the corners of my eyes too just to tie it all together I'm not going crazy with eyeshadow because I've got this lash look that I'm gonna try and achieve oh my gosh wait until you see my nails as well they are the most extra insanely beautiful crazy nails you've ever seen so they're basically acrylic press-ons they're insane I'm never ever ever going back to acrylics again so now I've done most of my face makeup my brows don't actually look too crazy do they all I feel like I kind of need to do is um, just define them and I'm gonna use the benefit brow styler just to make sure that they are in the right position and shape and also what I meant by the Fox eye lift is I go out instead of down. So I'm just kind of trying to achieve that lately. I love the feathery look that I've achieved by the brow lamination, but oh my gosh. Okay, this is the part that's going to, it's gonna be fun, it's gonna blow your mind. So we're gonna start off with a little eyeliner. I'm using a pink eyeliner by Dior and it's in the shade matte pink. And I'm just gonna kind of line my lids all the way across with this it doesn't really matter if you don't have a pink liquid eyeliner to create this look you can use eyeshadow this worked when i did it yesterday so i'm just going to use this for now i'm going to kind of angle the flick to go up towards that brow tail as well i'm going to go under the line as well and i'm also going to draw the pink liquid eyeliner all the way underneath my eye okay now onto the pink lashes <laughs> This is so much fun. So basically I was mixing up potions like I did when I was like five years old <laughs> and it was really hard to tell what was going to transfer onto the lash in terms of the pigment. So these are the lashes and under the light you can see that they're pink but what I'm going to do now is actually use a bit of concealer and you can see this brush has been well and truly used to experiment with as well. Now I don't want to ruin these lashes, but I do have another pair, so we will just bear with the idea of what I'm about to do. These are um, unicorn lashes in the style Foxy, and I cut them so they're just corner ones, and I'm gonna put some concealer on them, like so, and then I'm just gonna brush them through with this. So I don't want them to be completely white, but I want them to have enough kind of light concealer on them so that the um, pigment can transfer onto the lash. So I've just combed through the lashes and now I'm gonna use a little bit of Morning Glory, the shade from the Me, Myself and Mitchell palette. And I'm just gonna paint them because <laughs> why not? <laughs> it's definitely working as I just kind of paint them with the eyeshadow. So I've just put some normal glue on and place them on the outer corners of my lashes. You can put a little bit more pink eyeshadow on um, the line if you want of your eye. It's blending pretty well. I will say as well that I've wanted to do pink lashes for so long, but it was actually Abby Roberts that made me think, oh my gosh, yes, of course, I wanted to do those. She uploaded a picture the other day 
wearing pink lashes that are inspired by someone else that um, is beautiful on Instagram as well. So I do have to say that they have given me um, the inspiration to go ahead and try this trend. How cool are they looking? I mean, DIY eyelashes, who'd have thought? You do kind of want to pinch them so they're really close to your lash line. I also want to blend my lashes and put a little bit more pink on them, but I'm just gonna let them dry for a few minutes and use my Bad Gal Bang 24 hour eye pencil by Benefit Cosmetics. This is in the shade Dark Purple. I'm just putting it into my waterline to add a bit more depth because my eyes are looking very light and pink. Okay, now what I'm gonna do is take a little bit of that concealer onto the brush, paint it on my lower lashes. I'm gonna use a little bit of the shade Morgan to put onto my lower lashes. Okay, now what I've done is mixed a bit more of that pink with a makeup setting spray because the purple was not strong enough. Dust away the fallout. Onto lips, oh my goodness. That was so much fun! Okay, now for lips, I'm using Hot Ombre Desert Grunge. This is one of the sample packs because I've actually run out of all of my shades I need to put in an order, although loads are out of stock at the moment. But this is just gonna complement the, um, the kind of pink, pinky purple hues that I'm going for perfectly with a little gloss in the shade Confetti, which is the Fenty Gloss Bomb. Oh, oh my gosh, beauties. This is the finished look. I am obsessed and it's been so fun to create this with you, doing something a little bit more out there and fun on my channel. I am living for it, I'm not gonna lie. I've gotta put my nails on and get dressed. So I'll be right back with my finished look before I leave for the Brits. <laughs> okay, I'm back. I've got my nails on, how sick. Are they? Oh my gosh, and I'm gonna try and show you my outfit. I have a corset on, and it just gets more and more extra. I have like this big skirt. <laughs> Hold on, let me zoom you out. It's like a really, really puffy, long skirt. So if you wanna see some pictures, go on to Instagram to check out this look. Thank you so much for watching. I am obsessed with this makeup look. Let me know if you recreate this and don't forget to subscribe, like, leave a comment below and I'll see you on the next one, my beauties. Yay, Mwah. love you lots, bye.